Good morning, YouTube. It's Saturday, the 26th of November. We're having lovely weather. Yesterday was lovely. Today is just as nice. So I'm bringing you on a little bit of adventure. I'm not usually in the parts business, but I was contacted by a guy who wants this cast plate. I have never taken one off. I do not know what I'm getting into. Could be a nightmare. I don't know. I've got a pan under here in case oil starts gushing out the butt of this 2010. So I'm going to bring you along. I uh, actually put a couple posts on Facebook. Uh, and I got about, people want about $600 worth of parts. So I thought, what the hey? Might as well uh, attempt it. And the other ones are combine parts. But we're going to try to get this off today. We've got two 2010s here. That one's a 63 LP. Actually only 27 digits away from the one... Uh, that we restored. This is a gasser I bought just to have extra parts. I probably shouldn't have, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is probably just end up parting it out. So we'll see how this all goes. So I've got you guys on the tripod, hopefully focused in on the area we need to work. Let's see what happens. Block off. I'm sure somebody will want them. They're pretty good sway blocks. Looks like somebody been in here before because this side does not have lock horses on it. So far, so good, but that's usually when the ground falls out in my view, isn't it? All right, we're that far in. Well, just lost 200 bucks. I slid the drawbar over, just like that. Wasn't even hard, cracked it right out. That must be what happened to the other guy. So, it, uh, Actually, it was already broke. You can see it was rusty in there. So, don't have to take that off today. 200 bucks gone. That's the way it goes. Well, we're back in business. I had another rear end from our restoration. Has a good casting. I'm glad it's already open. It's going to be a lot easier. There is some things to unhook on the back there. So, here we go again. I got a table under it this time. Hopefully we won't break anything. Let's see what happens. still think it won't be that easy to get off. Oh yeah. Still quite solid. Just as I suspected it would be. We're going to earn our money today. 
Let's uh, see if these ones on the outer side will come off. I didn't look at the book. Probably should have. Looks like we got these here. Let's see if anything else changes. Ah. Actually, moving loose. Let's get a little lower so we don't. Drop it and break this one. See what happens here. Okay. You guys, make sure you guys are in focus. Got a hole coming apart. There's a hole. And some dowels. <coughs> I'm thinking. Mechanism is going to slide off, and I think be able to take. Having never done this before, when we did the restoration, I had this part done. See, we've got some springs in there, but we're sliding back off of that shaft there, so don't want to break anything there. And. We should, let me see if I can get that spring off right there. So I would have never got that out of the back of the tractor. We gotta get that off there and down there. Um, so uh, that's where I'm at. I See why working on these are a pain. Of course, anything in these compartments is, even if it ain't a 2010. So, I would have never got that off outside there. Glad I had this one already opened up. Okay, I got that all off. Two pins. One pin to get one pin, and another one another. It's amazing how they figured all this stuff out years ago. Well, there it is. Glad it was uh, on the table. So, the gentleman said he wanted the casting. I don't know about this. I'm sure our yard would have stripped that out of there. Uh, kind of neat. Uh, this uh, pulls, I don't know if you can see it there, pulls that up to engage with that shaft right there on the PTO. Kind of cool to see how these things work. So now I will uh, go in and uh, see what he says. All right, the gentleman said he did not need the gears. So I'm gonna try to keep those. I'll either try to sell them on the Facebook group or I will uh, keep them for myself. Although I admit I don't do much PTO work with the restored unit because I always heard that was a weakness. And with the uh, uh, money spent, I really don't want to tear back into it at this time. So let's see what happens. We'll take out these four bolts first that held the PTO cover on. I have a hunch it's going to have probably two quarts of oil in this thing because it's already leaking out the vent in the back. Um, usually when it came to PTO or rear end work, I always kind of hired that done. I never have the time to stay at it. And, uh, I would just probably lose track and end up doing it that way anyway. So, see what happens here. Yeah, I don't, I think those are just blind holes. Ok, 
fact, I'm almost sure of it. Where it's going to be is back here. We ought to probably try to get a tray to put this in because I think that's where the oil is going to be on the back side. Let me get you off of the tripod. Right now we have it upside down and you can see it's coming out. It looks like a vent right there. So, although we're in it there, so I don't know what we're going to find for sure. Like I said, I've never been in these, but we're going to get in them today. Got some uh, feed bags here. And let's see what happens. Make sure you're in focus. Okay, now yeah. let's see what happened. I can see there's a dowel there. I don't want to break anything now with all our hard work. Okay, I think we just get it. Get it up off of the dowels. Don't be laughing at me now. Like I said, I ain't never been in these things. Could be taking it apart. Totally wrong. Hopefully I'm not. May have to pull that all out. Let's see. It's coming up. Oh, there we go. Cavity. There we go. Needle bearings, and there is oil in there. So, well, it appears to be pretty good shape. find a home for this oil. We need us a five gallon bucket. Make sure this ain't on the edge and gonna fall off. All right. This is a uh, thrust washer. Probably need to put a ziplock around that. Needle bearings in the oil. So we did it. There's the casting. Two hundred dollars. Maybe we can get two hundred for these. I don't know. Not really into tractor salvage parts, but I don't know what else to do with them. Uh, maybe people will need them. I don't know. So that concludes that part. I'm going to clean up now. Get this oil in a bucket. And uh, probably gets a little colder. Add it to our used oil and run it through the shop heater. We're getting the full circle of life here. So on to the next part.